Hi, I'm Matt from Avalites. I'm technical sales for AI here at our headquarters in London. And today we're going to be using NDI in and out of the AI media server. So to get a NDI into AI, you first need to be sending it from somewhere. So I've just got a test pattern going on from the studio monitor and the NDI tools on a separate laptop. Now, once we've created our layer, we can access the NDI by double clicking. And with the layer controller, you'll see down at the bottom, external image, none. If you click that drop down box, you'll see up to eight NDI sources and spout, which is siphon as well. And to select my NDI source, all I do is select NDI and now my texture is being sampled from NDI, so if I change the test pattern being sent, you'll see in real time changing in AI, and we can now take NDI directly into our workflow. Now, if we want to send NDI out of AI, I'm just going to go in here and change that back to none. To send NDI out of AI, we're going to use a little bit of salvation patching. So if I double click the middle, we'll exit full screen. And here you have the stage patch, top left hand corner. You can also access this in the bottom right hand corner, output stage patch, it's exactly the same thing. So in the stage patch, we've got our fixture zero, which is our main screen here, and our mixer. And to add NDI, I'm going to go right click, insert module, network, NDI sender. And with this module, we can give it a name, set the resolution and frame rate. And we can go ahead and just patch in the canvas out to the texture input for the NDI sender. And now to finish, we will need to close this GL output window with insert module GL window. And this just completes the processing for the GPU to send that signal. And you must have that window active. You can hide it behind your other windows, but to be sending NDI, that must be sitting there. And now we can take that NDI signal and either put it into some visualizer software like Capture or WYSIWYG, or integrate AI into a full NDI workflow in a broadcast situation. If you're having issues with NDI, it's always worth checking the network settings and making sure you have the right IP address. You can see the IP range that AI is using by going to system settings, and I'm on a 10 dot range, and this is matching my NDI source as well. If you ever need to change the network settings, you can go down at the bottom, Windows Network Settings, change your adapter, have a look at your plugged in Ethernet connection properties, IPv4, and change your IP address there. And you just have to make sure that you're using the right subnet, or else NDI won't work. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you'd like to learn more about AI, check out our other videos, and see you guys soon.